I was heading to this music festival in Budapest with a couple of friends cycling um, and I fell off my bike halfway when I was in the south of Germany and I broke my elbow. So I was determined to actually get there. So I decided that I was going to hitchhike. My friends would keep cycling and I was going to meet them there. And I was worried that nobody was going to pick me up when this nice little old lady came out of her house. But at first I wasn't able to understand what she was saying too much. She was trying to tell me that this wasn't a great place to be picked up and that if she would pay for a bus for me, I should get on the bus and get off at another place where she said I would be able to get a lift a bit easier. Once I got on the bus, uh, there was only a, one other passenger who was a lady who only had a couple of English words, and she suggested that I went home with her and that when her mother finished work, she would come and pick me up and take me to where I needed to go. I was worried and also a bit concerned that I wasn't going to be able to have the language skills to communicate what I actually needed to get across. I actually used the phrase, Sie sind ein Engel, which just means you're an angel, because I did feel like she saved my life. If you're an English speaker, people think you don't necessarily need to learn a language, but I think you get received a lot differently um, from making that effort. I'd just say go for it, because if you're going to be somewhere um, in a non-English speaking country, I think you're going to get a much better experience. Obviously, being in that situation, once you see the improvement in your language, it gets easier to just keep going for it. I guess imagine like going about your daily life and not speaking to anybody. Like You get a lot more out of having communication and human interaction. Had she not been able to understand me, I probably would have come across as quite rude and I wouldn't have been able to thank her for the information.